Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Now in today's video, we are going to take a look at a software that I've mentioned in some of my recent videos called NiceHash. NiceHash is a program that you can run on your Windows computer, among other things, and it allows you to rent out your computer's hardware, more specifically your CPU power and your GPU power. So other people can use it to mine different cryptocurrencies and you in return receive a compensation in Bitcoin. Now in order to get started with NiceHash, you can use the link in the description of the first comment down below to create your free NiceHash account. And once you're logged in and see your dashboard, which will look like this, you can go to your rig manager and there click download miner or at ASIC in the top right corner and pick the nice hash miner from the pop-up and confirm the download. Now as you can see the current version is for Windows only so I'm not going to download it on my MacBook. I in fact have it already installed on my Windows computer. I want to point out that it's important on Windows that you configure an exclusion in your antivirus software so that it actually allows nice hash to work. NiceHash has separate articles for different antivirus software and you can find the links to the main article where you can then pick basically which software you're using also down in the description or the first comment down below. And once you've successfully installed NiceHash, you are going to look at a window that looks like this, which is the NiceHash miner window. As you can see, I'm currently mining and currently my computer is basically generating 2.45 US dollars in profit every 24 hours. Now I'm gonna pause the mining operation to show you some of the features and how to set everything up properly. And one of the first things that you should do when you get started is click on the cogwheel icon in the top right and in the settings you can enter or it should automatically enter your wallet address which you can see in your NiceHash dashboard. You can assign a name to the worker application so when you have multiple computers that you see in the dashboard which computer is actually producing how many coins and so on. And when you scroll further down we get to the important settings and that is your cost per kilowatt hour in electricity. If you don't know your current cost, you can Google the average cost in your country or even better look at one of your recent electricity bills because that's the crucial factor here. Because obviously how much you pay for electricity also affects how much profit you actually make. Now there are two different scenarios here. Number one is you want to make an instant profit which means you need to make sure or you need to check if considering your electricity costs your computer is actually profitable. And the second scenario would be you don't care about your electricity cost because you still believe that Bitcoin will double, triple or quadruple in its value. In that case you could decide to currently mine at the loss because you assume that the coins that you currently earn will again double, triple or quadruple in value over time which would then cause you a profit later. And besides the cost per kilowatt hours you also might want to go through all the other settings to set your time zone and enable auto update and so on and also take a look at the advanced settings where you can define that the mining should automatically start or that mining should only happen when your computer is idle and so on which gives you more control. So for example you could configure NiceHash in a way that it's always running but that the computer is only mining when you're not using it. This way you'll obviously earn less depending on how many hours you're actively using the computer but it will also ensure that you have the full computer's performance available whenever you are actually using it. Now once you've configured the settings to your liking the next step would be to go to the benchmark section and here we'll see a list of the devices that NiceHash can use on your computer for mining. Usually it will show your computer's CPU which is not highly effective when it comes to mining but we still want to have it enabled to see how profitable it can be and additionally if you have a decent GPU it will also be listed here and you want to basically have both enabled initially. Now since I've already been running NiceHash on this computer, all available algorithms have already been benchmarked. So NiceHash already knows which ones are profitable and which ones are not. For you it would say bench 0 of 2 and if you have a decent GPU it might say 0 out of 28. And you can then click on the three little dots next to the device and click on start benchmark for NiceHash to figure out which algorithms bring the most profit on your computer. Once you've done that, the next step actually is simply go to your dashboard and hit the button to start mining. Give it a couple minutes to actually connect to the NiceHash networks, start the mining process and so on. If you see some pop-ups appear, so separate command line windows showing you what kind of algorithm is running and so on, you can also disable them in the settings. There's a setting that allows you to hide those pop-ups like I'm doing it here. 
And as you can see, initially it shows us a loss of 20 cent per 24 hours or 12 cent per 24 hours because it's just starting, it's not profitable. So basically the mining is just starting and it's already considering the electricity cost, but there is no estimate on the profit. But within a few seconds, we can already see that it changes to $2 something in profit per day. And that's considering already the electricity cost that the mining causes. Now, last but not least, before we conclude this video, I also want to mention that there's a separate software called Honey Miner, which by the way is in no way affiliated to the Honeygain software that I reviewed in some of my recent videos. And the difference between Honey Miner and NiceHash is that in NiceHash you are renting out your hardware and people can rent the hardware or the hashing power to basically mine coins and you get compensated for them renting the hardware. Whereas in Honey Miner, you are actually mining or using your hardware to mine yourself and you get compensated from Honey Miner itself for the efforts. So if NiceHash isn't profitable or even if it's profitable, you might wanna consider also checking out Honey Miner. You can find a link to that also in the description or the first comment down below and simply leave each app for maybe an hour. So let NiceHash run for an hour or 30 minutes and look at how profitable it is for you according to the display in the app and then go ahead and install Honey Miner and also let it run for the same period of time and simply look at the 24 hour projection in terms of profitability to see which of those two apps actually has the better payout for you. And while neither NiceHash nor Honeygain will make you rich on average consumer hardware on even gaming PCs, as you can see in my example, currently NiceHash generates more than $60 in profit for me per month for just having my computer run. And before the current Bitcoin surge, it was somewhere along $40. So something I definitely can't complain about. It doesn't seem like a lot, but even if you consider a $40 profit per month, we're talking about close to $500 in a year, simply for having my computer run with the NiceHash software, which also means I can simultaneously run, for example, Honeygain, because the NiceHash mining already pays for the electricity cost. So there's no downside in having my computer on 24 seven also to run Honeygain. And if you haven't seen my video about Honeygain or you don't know what Honeygain is in the first place, then I recommend that you check the card up here or there's also gonna be a link to the video in the description or the first comment down below to learn about that as well. And once you know if and how profitable Bitcoin mining with NiceHash or Honeyminer is on your computer, you can go ahead and also install Honeygain to basically profit from two different applications. Now that's it. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye-bye.